Lori Laughlin and Massimo Giannulli have agreed to plead guilty for their roles in the college admission scandal. According to the deals their lawyers struck with prosecutors, they've asked a judge to have Giannulli sentenced to five months in federal prison, pay a $250,000 fine, and complete 250 hours of community service. Laughlin, on the other hand, is asking for two months in prison, a $150,000 fine, and 100 hours of community service, per documents. Both sentences are for the fraud charges, and as long as the federal judge accepts the terms, the money laundering and bribery charges will be dropped. They will plead guilty on Friday, though their sentencing date has not yet been set. Laughlin and Giannulli were charged over a year ago for their roles in William Rick Singer's scheme to get the children of moneyed elites into various colleges and universities around the country. The two allegedly paid $500,000 overall to get both of their daughters, Olivia Jade and Bella Rose, into the University of Southern California through the athletic department. Singer instructed them to have their girls pose as crew recruits, though they never participated in the sport, while his connections in the school's athletic department did the rest, the girls were not charged in the scheme. In the charging documents as well as more discovery released over the course of the year, it became clear that Giannulli was Singer's main point of contact for the family, while Laughlin was often cc'd or forwarded information. When Singer asked the couple for a photo of Bella Rose, then in high school, on a gym rowing machine to add to her faux crew profile, he wrote back, fantastic. We'll get all. He was also quoted as, blowing off, inquiries from a USC official as they asked about his daughter. Until now the couple had been fighting the charges along with several other parents implicated in the scheme. Their lawyers argued that they too were swindled by Singer, believing they were getting their kids into college the regular rich people way, by donating large sums to the school. Their lawyers also asked that the charges be dismissed on the grounds that the prosecution had both bullied Singer into entrapment and withheld exculpatory evidence. The judge denied the request on May 8. More great stories from Vanity Fair, Prince Harry's quarantine lament, the ex-royal is reportedly feeling a little sad in LA, astronaut Jessica Mayer returns home to a completely different planet, can a new book finally settle the feud rumors between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton? This is what Swedish chefs learned while keeping their restaurants open in the pandemic, even Stephen King thinks we're living in a Stephen King book, a pandemic won't kill the open office, but Slack could, from the archive, The Lonely Air, an inside look at Prince Charles's childhood looking for more? Sign up for our daily newsletter and never miss a story.